Today, we're gonna be looking at the top five most overpowered guns in Modern Warfare 3 after the update. These are the guns that you definitely wanna be using. I'm gonna say that we have three ARs, one SMG, and one battle rifle to look at today, and you guys are gonna like every single one that we have, all right? So these guns have previously been nerfed, previously been buffed, all that kind of stuff, and in this season, they're just overall the best guns that you need to be using on multiplayer, on Warzone, on whatever you're playing, you're gonna go off with these. Let's start off the list at the number one spot, and that is going to be the battle rifle. I kinda wanna get it out of the way, it's the Bass B. Get it, get it out of the way first, and then we move into the funner guns. So the Bass B, is one of the most overpowered guns. We know that, and I'm gonna show the class to you guys right now. So basically, this is it right here. We got a whole bunch of attachments to go through. We got the Jack BFB, the short eight inch Bruin, the Schlager Tango, the 30 round mag, and the Cronin mini dot. I will move my face in case you guys wanna take a screenshot of this class right here. This is it. You go ahead, take it. I'm gonna put my face right back up. And overall, it's probably one of the best Bass B classes I've actually made. If I go into the firing range to show you guys what it does here, it does pretty good. Let me put my headset on, because I wanna kinda hear when I shoot. It feels weird if I shoot my gun and don't listen. Now, I'm gonna take the shots. It is a straight shooter, as you guys can see, and it just doesn't miss. It's, it's just really nice. And uh, yeah, so pretty much the reason why I chose some of these attachments is because I feel like, yeah, there are attachments that you definitely want to be using on this gun, like the Jack BFB. This gives you gun kick control, it gives you vertical recoil and horizontal recoil, and it gives you quite a bit as well, okay? So you're gonna get gun kick control at a 55% boost, you're gonna get horizontal recoil at 20, and vertical recoil at 35. So definitely throw it on. It makes this gun better and I just really love it. And then we got the barrel, which is the short 8-inch Bruin SZ45 barrel for sprint to fire speed, which is great because not only are you getting sprint to fire speed, but you're also getting recoil control and gun kick control with it. Now you're losing some range and all that kind of stuff, but honestly, don't even worry about that. This gun is already so good that you, you saw it in the firing range. It, it's nice. 4% recoil, gun kick control, horizontal 8 and vertical 7, and then you're getting sprint to fire at night, you're not actually losing any, so I like that a lot. The Schlager Tango for hip fire spread, recoil control, and aim walk instead. And basically we're using this because there's not many cons on it, and we're getting that recoil up. So I kind of like that as well. The 30 round mags because, well, you kind of need it. 20 is just not enough. 45 is a little too heavy. And then the Cronin Mini Dot because, well, this it's nicer than the Iron Sight. The Iron Sight's kind of ugly, so we do want that. Now, guys, I'm going to give you a little disclaimer right now. I'm making this video before I actually try the update out. And the reason I'm doing that is because I already know that these guns, these classes are so good that I'm going to say you're going to want to use these right away. A lot of people might switch up and try to use different guns and stuff, don't do that, all right? Use these ones. These are the ones I'm about to share with you guys and you will go off. Now, my favorite class is the MTZ and I wanna share this one with you guys because this class absolutely shreds. And you guys came back and told me that you loved my MTZ class and stuff and, and that you guys were getting the best gameplays you've ever had before. And in all honesty, this site is ugly it's really ugly, but look at that lack of recoil, boys. Look at that, look at that right there. Oh my God, this thing is just a monster. And I'm missing because I'm, I'm kind of turning and stuff. I didn't even realize I was moving there. But yo, I use this on multiplayer and it's just, it's a straight shooter. You want to use this for sure. So here's all the, the attachments. Again, I'll move my face just so you guys can kind of get a get an idea of what this gun is. Go ahead, take your screenshots, do what you got to do. I'm coming back. So three, two, one, kaboom, here I am. All right, we got the VT7 Spirit Fire for the muzzle, the Bruin Heavy Support Grip for the under barrel, the MTC heavy long barrel for the barrel, 50 round drums, which might seem heavy. It is, but it does the job. And then weirdly enough, the Niter model 2023, which is such a weird sight. It looks like it's going to snap right off the gun but it's nice, it does the job. So this one right here, as you guys can see, we're gonna be undetectable by radar, which means that, yeah, it's a suppressor. We're getting recoil control, bullet velocity, and damage range. So this gun's gonna be really easy to control in terms of recoil, and it's also gonna have effective damage range. So it's gonna do more damage at longer distances, pretty much as that. Now you're losing 20 ADS, but it, it's, an, it's an AR. It doesn't matter if we lose too much ADS. I don't think the ADS is too important. Then for the barrel, again, we're getting even more distance, even more recoil control. You guys can already see, like this gun is built for distance. It's such a great weapon like it's just it's sick right it, it's it i would recommend using it at all times and then we got the bruin heavy support under barrel which again is going to be mostly for recoil control we're losing another eight percent ads but i mean you just you got to try this class out before you kind of knock it like don't knock it till you try it honestly it is such a good class we got the nighter model 2023 here and then the 50 round drum which is obviously going to take way more ads and sprint to fire and all that but you get way more bullets than 30 so it's kind of worth it at the same time i'm going to say this is my favorite class in the game right now 
you got to use this class, right? The MTZ556 is broken, and with this class, it's just so much better. I would recommend this exact same class on Warzone, except change the optic to something maybe with a little more zoom to it. But overall, great class. Let's move on to another weapon on this list, and then we're going to go over to my AMR9. Now, my AMR9 class right here, um, this is actually not the one that I, that I recently made. I forget which one it is. I have a lot of, there it is. I have a lot of AMR9 classes. And this one right here is actually my favorite one. So I'm going to move my face one more time. This is weapon number three. If you guys want to go ahead, go ahead and take it, do what you got to do with it. And I'm coming back. Three, two, one, kaboom. Here I am once more. Again, we got the Jack BFB for the muzzle, the AMR9 Enforcer Long Barrel, the Chimera Chimera. I don't know what it is, man. The Ryan 3 uh, Vertical Grip is really nice. And then the Sacken ZX Grip and the Cronin Mini Dot. We're going to go ahead and show you guys just basically what this gun does. And you can see that even this one for an AMR9, even at distance, it's going to draw people nice here. I ran out of bullets, so obviously you're gonna miss that, but it's probably just gonna take one shot. Yeah, there you go. So overall, again, really good class, and I would recommend using this one eh, on, on smaller to medium maps. I wouldn't say use it on the large ones or anything. I mean, I did, and I absolutely shredded with it, but use it for the smaller maps, and you will be you will you'll be satisfied. You'll like this one a lot. So the Jack BFB, we already know this one right here is going to give us all that recoil control that we need. It makes you visible on the radar, but it's kind of a sacrifice that I, I like to take, you know, because I, I don't mind being visible if I'm going to be hitting a lot of easy shots at long distance. The barrel is the AMR9 Enforcer. So this one gives you that gun kick control, recoil control, bullet velocity, and range. It gives you quite a bit, all right? So that recoil control is 9% vertical and horizontal, and the recoil gun kick is 5%. But the best part of this one is the effective damage range is 24, the minimum damage range is 24, and the bullet velocity is up by 13%. So it's really good. It makes this gun into an AR pretty much. Then we got the Chimera Ryan 03 vertical grip as well. This one is really cool because we're getting gun kick control, vertical recoil, and all that kind of stuff. We're losing some horizontal, but I wouldn't worry about that. Then we got the Cronin mini dot and the Sacken ZX grip for the rear grip, which is good because again, gun kick, you're getting 10%. Horizontal and vertical, you're getting seven for both. So, I mean, why not, right? And then finally, actually, let's go back to this. I'm going to show you guys these two classes right here. So, the MCW, which I think is awesome, and the BP-50. So, let's start off with the BP-50 and then get into that MCW class because it's one of my favorite MCW classes as well. The BP-50, though, this thing, this thing has no recoil. Like, I, I don't even know how to explain it. It just literally shoots and doesn't miss. Like, there's nothing else to say about it. It just shoots and literally doesn't miss a shot. Like, you're, even if you have the worst aim alive, use this class and it's going to do half the work for you. Like, you just have to do the aiming. It does all the recoil control for you. And that's because of the attachments that we got on. So, the Jack BFB is going to give us, you already know, 55 gun kick, 20 horizontal, and 35 vertical. Then we got the v Lore 9 heavy barrel, which is going to give us even more distance, effective damage range up 15, minimum damage range up 15, bullet velocity up 8. But also getting gun kick at five and then horizontal and vertical recoil both at seven So this gun right here is just it's so easy to just hold it and by the way guys Let me just move my face. I completely forgot for this one here You guys go you guys can see it on screen right here This is all the attachments that we have for it I'll put my face back and then uh, yeah, pretty much that's it for that one So we got the FTAC MSP 98 which again, it's just pretty much for vertical uh, And I guess gun kick control you're losing some horizontal at two But you guys see this gun doesn't have it doesn't have any Horizontal that you need to worry about 45 round mags awesome and then the mode 40 stock for gun kick control ADS aim walking speed and recoil control as well 25 gun kick control which is nice and six horizontal and six vertical which is great And with all of that recoil you think you'd lose uh, ADS, but you're actually getting seven So it's actually kind of nice right there now Finally the last weapon on this list is the MCW and this one right here We're using three aftermarket parts as you can see three of them Which is quite a bit now again I'll move my face for this one just so you guys can kind of see the Class, take a screenshot do what you got to do with it as usual and I'm gonna get into the firing range and show you this one right here and I don't have a sight on this one I actually have an iron sight on this one most cards I don't run sights but this one here a lot of the iron sights are just very very ugly and again this one right here you're gonna hit those shots you're gonna hit every single shot that you take with it and it's actually really really nice I don't know how I missed there I shot right in between the legs for practically every single shot, but that's on me. That, that's definitely on me. But yeah, this one right here, again, we got the Jack BFB. You already know, 55, 20, 35. Don't really need to tell you guys. It's pretty much the same for every single weapon, I'm pretty sure. The barrel is the Chimera Black Iron Heavy Short Barrel. So it's a heavy and a short barrel at the same time, but we're getting sprint to fire speed on a heavy barrel. Doesn't make sense, but it is what it is. You already know. Um, this one right here, we're losing some effective damage range, minimum damage range, and bullet velocity. Kind of sucks. Probably explains why you miss a few of those shots in the firing range but 
I'm gonna move my face just so you guys can see that the only pro is not just sprint to fire, all right? And we're getting quite a bit, actually. We're getting movement speed at four, crouch movement speed at four, ADS movement speed at eight, and then obviously the sprint to fire speed, as you guys can see, at six. So it's not all cons, it's not all cons. It's actually kind of worth running. 40 round mags, and then the, uh, Regal Heavy, the RB Regal Heavy stock right here, which is really good. You're getting gun kick control, recoil control, and all that kind of stuff. So 27 gun kick, 22 horizontal, 22 vertical. It's kind of sick. Now, I do have the Jack Raven or Raven, my bad kit on this one as well which increases your fire rate it increases your mobility and handling damage at close range and hit fire and tax and spread the reason i wouldn't use this gun for long range is not just because it missed a few shots you guys saw in the fire range but the bullet velocity and range is down we're losing quite a bit of recoil as well but it doesn't make sense because this gun doesn't have recoil you guys saw that as well 34 recoil gun kick we're losing and 94 horizontal that doesn't make any sense it doesn't feel like that at all but we're getting an increase in headshot damage 11 percent and lower torso damage to match the upper torso at six percent as well so that's really good i like that and the minimum damage range is buffed as well and the sprint to fire at 13 so don't just follow the stats on this gun it's actually busted it's good to use and i really love it but that's gonna be it for the top five guys enjoy the new season or the mid-season update whatever you want to call it drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it sub to the channel those nodies turned on you guys already know we're uploading every single day we're almost on like day 70 i think it's crazy of daily uploads that's insane if you guys watch every single one of those i appreciate the heck out of you but yeah thank you guys for watching my name is nick and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace